What is up, Warpath? We are back with another exciting video today. We are back on the test server here. Full disclosure, as always, anytime I'm on the test server, I just want to make sure you guys understand this is not a real account. This is not a real server. I've been given special access to this test server by Lilith in order to get in here early to be able to get content for you guys. Uh, so that way, once the release does go live, we can get you guys all of the most accurate, up-to-date, and entertaining content regarding the newest updates uh, that go live. So with that being said, guys, today's video is going to be geared towards specifically the three brand new officers that are going to be coming in this update. Welcome back, guys. We have got three brand new officers in this update. All three are going to be ground force officers. We do not have any new air force officers that are a part of this update. All three new officers are going to be ground force specifically. So we have got two brand new tank officers, and then we have got one brand new artillery specific officer. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to take a dive at, uh, we're going to look at all of them. We're going to go through all of their skills, their four main skills, their fifth awakened skill. Uh, we're going to talk about them. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions on each of them, and then what roles I can see them potentially playing uh, within the game. So the first one here we've got is Lady Justice. She is going to be one of our tank officers. Then we have got Argent Flame. He is going to be the artillery specific officer. And then the third officer is going to be Thorn Countess, which is going to be another uh, tank slash uh, versatile officer. Um, she's going to be an interesting one to discuss, but we're going to get back to her here in a few minutes. So we're going to start at the top and work down. We are going to start with Lady Justice. Lady Justice is a tank officer. Her first skill, her tactical skill, is going to be Blasts an Enemy Troop with her shotgun, dealing damage. Damage coefficient is 1,500 and reducing the target's speed by 50% for 6 seconds. Also increases her troop's damage and speed by 15% for 6 seconds. Skill number 2 increases the firepower of this officer's troop by 30%. Increases firepower by an additional 5% while in Alliance territory, so for a total of 35% if in Alliance territory. Skill number 3 this officer's troop has a 15% chance of landing a critical strike while attacking, dealing an additional 50% damage. Skill number four, increases the damage resist of this officer's troop by 20%. And then when fully awakened, blasts, blasts an enemy troop with her shotgun, dealing damage. Damage coefficient is 1500 and reducing the target speed by 15%, or I'm sorry, by 50% for, uh, for 6 seconds, also increases her troop's damage and speed by 15% for 6 seconds. So, this is an interesting one, so definitely more of a field gear, you know, field targeted officer. Um, a lot of her skills are obviously geared towards field fighting, things like that. I think she's going to play an interesting role on things like the light tank and then the medium slash main battle tank right if you guys are like me how many times have you guys been in situations where maybe you're chasing down a rocket launcher or maybe you're chasing down a light tank right and you're just out of reach of being able to actually get any shots off um, and ultimately being able to get that officer skill charged up right so for me for example i run on my main battle tank i run guardian of truth and winter huntsman and I can keep up with the light, like relatively speaking, it's still it's still just a little bit out of range for me in terms of me being able to catch it and actually get it pinned down and be able to charge up officer skills and things like that uh, because it's just a little bit faster. Um, however, Lady Justice here could offset that. She could play a big role, um, you know, with lights if you're out sniping reserves with medium main battle tanks, uh, maybe going after the lights or after the rocket launchers. Um, or heck, if you're, it doesn't matter really what you're doing. If you're out sniping reserves or anything like that, this could be a big, a big uh, advantage as well, and being able to stop enemy reserve troops from being able to get streamed back to them, um, and ultimately uh, making it easier to get kills as well. 
I think a good pairing potentially would be um, Lady Justice and Winter Huntsman uh, because of Winter Huntsman's ability to, you know, freeze and immobilize targets for a couple of seconds. Um, so that's kind of where I see her playing a big role. Uh, she could also be an advantage on something like Guardian of Truth or something like that. But I just see I just see Lady Justice and Winter Huntsman being a really kind of lethal combo, especially if you're the type of player that likes to play, uh, you know, the more sneaky role and work in the reserve streams and things like that. Um, so let's jump down here and let's go ahead and take a look at Argent Flame. So like I said, Argent Flame is going to be the artillery specific officer here in this update. His first skill here is tactical skill. Fires an artillery shell at an enemy target. Damage coefficient of 1500. If leading an artillery troop, this skill also damages up to three enemy ground force troops within one grid of the target. Damage coefficient 700. 20% less for each additional target or each additional troop. If serving as troop leader, increases the skill damage of his aid by 25%. Skill number two is going to be increases the damage resist of this officer's troop by 20%. Skill number three increases the damage of this officer's troop by 35% when garrisoned. Okay. Skill number four increases the firepower of this officer's artillery by 40%. And the fifth and awakened skill here is going to be fires an artillery shell at an enemy target. Damage coefficient of 1500. If leading an artillery troop, this skill also damages up to three enemy ground force troops within one grid of the target. Damage coefficient of 700. 20% less for each additional troop. If serving as troop leader increases the skill damage of his aid by 25%. So definitely a artillery specific officer here. I think a big role he is going to play is going to be on the anti-tank gun. Obviously, we're going to have to wait for the update to be able to actually do some live testing and things like that. Uh, but I see him being very, very beneficial on the anti-tank gun. And here is a couple of reasons why. So if you think about it, all right, the most popular and really the most overall well-rounded officer combination on the anti-tank gun currently prior to this update is Percy and Death Adder. And the reason is, is because obviously for Death Adder, he's got the increased penetration, plus he's got, um, you know, additional damage and things like that. But the big reason for Percy is going to be her garrisoned damage, right? Let's take a look at Percy here. So Percy, um, has got an additional 25% damage when garrisoned. That's her big draw. And then here on Argent Flame, we have got an additional 20, I'm sorry, 35% when garrisoned. So 10% additional damage uh, when garrisoned with Argent Flame here. So really kind of taking the one skill Percy's got that is keeping her in most people's lineup at the present time um, and kind of pushing Percy out of the lineup, which Percy, obviously, as you guys probably all know by now, the only way to level up and awaken Percy is by leveling her up to level 60. So it's not like anybody's had to put any universal statues into her or anything like that. And she's still a great officer, still can be a big benefit in arena, things like that. And depending on what your troop setup is, she might still play a vital role uh, for you. Uh, but in my opinion, I think Argent Flame here is going to probably end up replacing Percy for most people if he's as good on um, in once actual application as it seems like he's going to be on paper here because of the additional garrison damage plus the additional troop firepower here, right, up to 40%. Um, so I see him playing a big role on the ATG, um, and depending on what your lineup is, I could also see him playing a big role here on your or just our standard artillery, whether it's Liberty um, or Martyrs. So the third and final new officer we are going to be getting is going to be Thorn Countess, geared more towards uh, tanks. Her first skill, her tactical skill, is going to be um, this officer's troop gains a shield, shield coefficient 8. That also increases the firepower of their troop and all allied ground force troops within one grid, radius by 1500, lasts for one second. Skill number two increases the damage of this officer's troop by 20%. Skill number three reduces the damage this officer's troop receives from officer skills by 30%. All right. And then skill number four is going to be increases the HP of this officer's tanks and helicopters 
by 40%. Her fifth and awakened skill is going to be when this officer's troop is garrisoned in a base, any shield the troop has is increased by 15% and can be used by the base. The base also receives 10% less damage from normal attacks. So very interesting set of skills here from Thorn Countess. Um, I am not really completely sure where I see her fitting in lineups. Obviously, she's got some skills here that can be a benefit on, uh, you know, your field units, your tanks, things like that. Um, but she definitely seems like she could be a kind of defensive focused uh, officer that you could pair with something like a steel fighter, right? Steel fighter gives a shield as well when garrisoned on a unit. And that ultimately steel fighter reduces the officer skill damage inflicted on your base. And then Thord Countess um, helps, uh, you know, your base receives 10% less damage from normal attacks. So you can get a shield from both um, and reduce officer skill damage as well as just normal damage from uh, or damage from normal attacks. Uh, so it could be really interesting um, to see how she starts to be utilized. I think she really is going to be a big benefit. Um, even if she's just playing more of a garrison um, in a defensive role because of that reduction in damage from normal attacks. Um, however, it said the shield can be used on defense, which leads me to believe this officer's troop gains a shield of eight, but also increases the firepower of their troop and all allied ground force troops within one map grid radius for by 1500. So does that mean that all of our troops in our base when the shield fires are going to have the increase in firepower as well. I don't necessarily know. It's not totally clear in that, uh, but we will definitely see how that works um, when she is released and we'll ultimately do some testing on all of these officers after the uh, update goes live. We're going to see what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, and ultimately what unit types these officers are going to pair, pair best with. Um, Thorn Countess here, like I said, is kind of an interesting one. I'm not real sure what role I see her playing in uh, field fighting necessarily, uh, but I definitely think she's going to have a benefit and a place in everybody's lineup. It just may, me, may be more, uh, you know, kind of a specialized role and not kind of a, you know, everyday use role per se. Um, so with that being said, guys, these are going to be our three brand new officers. Like I said, three ground force officers, two tank, one artillery, no air force in this update. Um, so with that being said, guys, if you guys have stuck around to this point in the video, if you guys have enjoyed this video, found it helpful, um, please do consider hitting the like button as it does help me out tremendously. If you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and are not already subscribed to the channel, please do go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button as well. And then as always, if you guys have access to discord, um, and you guys are not already in our community discord server, the link to that is going to be, uh, below in the pinned comment, as well as in the description of this video and all other videos as well. We would love to have you guys join our community discord server. We've got people from all over Warpath. Everybody's welcome. Doesn't matter what server, what Alliance we would love to have you. We've got a ton of amazing and helpful people over in the community discord server as well. With that being said, guys, I appreciate it and we will catch you guys on the next one.